start coming out on a real regular basis, they kind of form like a family and they know each other and they know each other's strengths and their talents and they really do a good job of working with one another. And if somebody comes out like, oh, I'd like to be a regular, we're like, well, like, well yeah, you can come on, join us, and we'll, we'll but you don't get to just be a regular because you want to be. You got to be a regular by becoming a regular. And when they start to really think of you as a regular, there's not usually a ceremony, but you kind of know. It's, it's not right away. It takes a little bit of time. On this particular house, on this site, but on this particular house, I had a lot of really meaningful and memorable hours working alongside the homeowner from next door, Alex, who was just incredible to work with on his own house and he seemed to always show up when I was doing something where I needed a hand or maybe I was doing something that wasn't all that safe and he's got this paternal instinct where he'd be like, PJ, why don't, why don't we hold on a second? <laughs> and he's been just a joy to work with. It's just wonderful that he's here today and beyond his own home, when he finished his hours on his house, he kept working. And then he moved into his house and he kept working and he's put in many, many long hours on this house, which is testament to the power of sweat equity and he feels a real sense of accomplishment, not only for his own house and what he did for his family, but he's helping other families. And that means an awful lot to me and to the homeowners that you work with. And so I think, although you're a homeowner, you might have crossed that line. <laughs> you might have become a regular and I got <laughs> no, size. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sweatshirt for you, my friend. All right. Which, which officially recognizes somewhere on here Honestly. that you are, in fact, a regular. Right. 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 And Pete, if you could come up here for a minute, please. There's, there's a thing with hoodies on the job site, and you can usually find a regular because they'll be proudly wearing their regular hoodie. Hoodies are inherently dangerous on a job site, and I fully expect you're going to wear this on a job yeah. site. And so, the strings are a problem. I don't know when you need to tie your hood on, but on my job site, you don't need to tie your hood on. <laughs> so go ahead and put this on. Thank you. No, put it on. Uh, <laughs> this is a ceremony. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll help you with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I got it. You got it. You got it. All right. So in order to make sure he's safe, <laughs> and to make sure he's on the job site wearing this, the ceremonial cutting of the strings. <laughs> <laughs> Not the cutting of the regular. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> Steady hand. Trust me? You don't have yes. too much time, right? <laughs> you don't put your coat on? Save there while we're at it. Yeah. Oh, you want a sharp one. Oh, no, not around here. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You get these. <laughs>